As we are learning, the terrorists fired upon Head Constable Ghulam Mohammad Tar today, who was working with Jammu and Kashmir police. He was shot dead near his residence in North Kashmir's Baramulla district. He was shifted to a sub-district hospital in Tangmark for treatment where he succumbed to his injuries. Remember, this is the third shooting in the last three days. The police constable was shot dead right outside his residence. There have been three targeted attacks in as many days and that comes at a change of guard with R.R. Swain taking over as Director, of General, uh, Director General of Police. Those visuals we are bringing to you of Dar's mortal remains that have been brought back to his family. He's also given a guard of honor. And this, let's also listen in to the guard of honor. CNN News 18's Ishan Vani joins me on the phone line with more details. Um, Ishan, what's deeply disturbing and tragic is that not only was he shot dead, but that too outside his residence. What are you learning uh, from these police sources? Has there been uh, a search operation that's been launched yet to nab the terrorists? Well, absolutely right. The searches are going on in the area, but uh, like I said, uh, you know, we have been reporting about these issues uh, from the last three days. Three such attacks have taken place with targeted killings or targeting attacks on uh, policemen are being carried out. First, we had on Sunday when uh, JNK police inspector was shot at while playing cricket in Srinagar's Eidka. Uh, he is battling for his life at a hospital, though his surgeries have been successful. Uh, but uh, then again, uh, yesterday we saw that uh, a known local uh, who was working in Pulwama was also shot at uh, and he died later at work because of his injuries. And now on the third day when again a police uh, head constable has been targeted, uh, Gulam Muhammad was a resident of Paramula. Uh, he was at his home when uh, these gunmen came and shot at him multiple times, but told by his that at least five bullets were pumped into his body and uh, he died of these uh, bullet injuries. Uh, he was taken to the nearby hospital, but he's come to these injuries. Now, all this is taking place one at a time when there's a change in guard in the top of German Kashmir Police, where TGP of German Kashmir Police, Dilbag Singh, retired today and handed over uh, the pattern to uh, the uh, RR Suvain, who was the intelligence chief of Jammu and Kashmir, and also has that post still. Uh, but he has been designated as in charge DGP of JNK Police, and then uh, you also have uh, you know security, which will now be taken uh, into consideration by the security agencies because there was already a meeting which had taken place at the Chinar Corps of the 15 Corps of uh, the Indian Army, which looks after the entire Kashmir region uh, for the winter preparedness, where all the forces participated and gathered their inputs, gave their inputs. Uh, so yes, how does this go from here onwards? Because three days, three targeted attacks uh, is something which will worry the security force forces who have been long trying to talk about the peace that they have been trying to establish right. and the peace they have been trying to make. So yes, that will act as a blow to it. But yes, forces are trying to ensure that they are able to come out of all this and make sure that all those who are behind this are booked and uh, you know, held as soon as possible. All right. Thank you for sharing those inputs, Ishan.